right, this is Eric with a generic journey. I'm the Eric half of the generic journey, and this is the gen half. And we're currently on our way to the Museum of Science and Industry to have a nice little day day. It's gonna be fun. We're behind some stupid truck, who knows, and there's nothing pretty yet. I was gonna show you guys the city of Chicago, but I can't yet. Show them all the machinery. construction, because that's Chicago right there. Well, yeah, machinery, if you can see that. Dark, gray, ugly, Gotham-y looking Chicago. That's how, that's how that looks. Uh, so, that's about all I got for you right now. Uh, so it's kind of awesome that you guys are going to be moving to Florida because while we may be the coolest Fab Lab, or the most local Fab Lab, we're not the only one. The Fab Lab is really a network of over uh, 500 labs worldwide. Um, we all work in a very similar way. We all use the same kinds of equipment. We try to use uh, free open source programs, uh, software programs to work with. So chances are, when you move to Florida, if you look up your new zip code and like look up Fab Lab, there's gonna be one, you know, kind of sort of nearby that you can pop in and totally like be like, I'm in a Fab Lab. Let me show you what's up. Today we're gonna make 3D. So you guys feeling ready to get started? Oh yeah. All right, let's actually head over here. This guy, we call him not so lucky cat, and you'll see why in just a second. Um, now before I start, I'll kind of explain how the 3D printer works. So right over here, this gray bar, or the silver bar, is again the gantry. You'll see this right here in the print head, it just glides left and right, side to side across the gantry. That's kind of our x-axis. You've got a y-axis of movement towards you and away from you. The entire gantry is getting kind of moved back and forth, sort of in and out. You might describe it like that. Um, and it prints. It's basically melting solid cold plastic, squeezing it through a really hot nozzle, and then oozing it out right at the bottom. And this is where we get to those tips and tricks. Because you'll see, it's kind of like printing from the bottom. It's a lot like, it's, it's really, it's, it's a hot thing done. <laughs> uh, making layers of melted plastic from the bottom up. So this unlucky cat, it's printing like a little bit of a foot, a little bit of a foot, and then it goes up to the next layer, more foot, more foot, some leg, some leg, and it keeps going up and up and up. Right about now, if you look to your left, you'll see his hand printing. Does it look right? Not really. How's it look? Yeah. Kind of like Kinda spaghetti. Yeah. Spaghetti, exactly. It's spaghetti bearding. So yeah. what's happening there is this hand, there's no material underneath it. Uh, so when the hot glue gun, more or less, gets up there, it's just going to squirt melted <laughs> plastic into thin air, making like a weird <laughs> oozy blob. Here's another example. Scary dude. <laughs> Do you think he'll print? Why not? This is like a, a very serious no way. There, he has two hands and they don't, there's nothing underneath them. You got it. Yeah. Chances are it's not going to turn out uh, exactly <laughs> the way that you expected. <laughs> All right, so how about this one? This one's nice. Oh, yeah. I think maybe, yeah. Maybe, yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure that I, would be I like right. that you guys are pretty sure. <laughs> I'm sure because you're totally right. Oh. <laughs> All right, one last one. Will this print? Yeah. I'm going to say certain? yeah. <laughs> totally right. This, uh, instead of not so lucky cat, this is lucky cat. Um, you'll see all the angles. The ears are very nice and a tall angle. Prints very well. The feet are also great. They're very wide, so it's got a nice, uh, stable, balanced base. And the facial features, when this person designed it, they made them very deep, so they're easy to see. Uh, once we get it printed out. So you guys, I'm, you guys are like total pros now. <laughs> uh, you want to get started uh, over the design circle? Yeah. It's okay, we get saved. Okay. The next program we're going to use is also free. It's called... Part. So part again, and yes, then... Part, export part. Okay. And we're going to uh, export them as STL. STL stands for Surface Tessellation Language. And then go ahead and click save, it'll automatically change the name for Nice. We are now, like, we're about, to, we've just finished up CAD. We're going to move on to, do you remember? CAM. Yes, CAM. We're going to make them. All right, so go ahead. You can either close or minimize. No. 
And then we'll so in the front of your makeup art looks like this, right? Check out my giant SD card. <laughs> so you can take your uh, SD card um, so that you can see the number. And the did you guys make up. that in the Fab Lab? We did. Yeah, we, <laughs> <laughs> we're one of the few museum exhibits can make its own props. Um, so you, take that, you put that little slot and you're going to push it down and it'll go like a ballpoint pen. If you ever put a memory card into a camera, this should feel very familiar. Yeah, excellent. It heats up to 230 degrees Celsius. Uh, anyone want to take a guess what that is in Fahrenheit? Hot. hot <laughs> really hot. Really hot is absolutely more correct. 446 degrees Fahrenheit. Motor, we got our X axis motor, we got our Y axis motor. What do you think the last motor does? Z. Z, absolutely right. It's another copy of something, it's a model. Is it the model of the moon? It's not the moon, we're um, on the right track. Uh -huh. The I color is a hint. Um, oh, Mars. Mars. It's Mars, yeah. So now what's cool about that model is that it was uh, designed by a high school science teacher. He downloaded the topographic information about Mars from the internet, wrapped it onto a ball, exaggerated it by 5,000%, so it was extra bumpy, extra craggy, and then printed it. And do you know why he made that? He made it for one student who was blind. Space. Space, that's right. He's on the International Space Station. And he's holding a wrench. Here is that wrench. Huh. It's actually a mechanical object. Um, Oh. I mean, right now we're using PLA, polylactic acid, which is a biodegradable plastic uh, made from corn sugars. You can't eat it though, so don't. No. <laughs> yeah. Aww. But it looks so tasty. All right, so uh, how to get your creature out of the 3D printer. Now that it's done, you may reach in there. Don't worry, they're not hot. You're not going to break them. Just kind of like make a little. always reminds me of waiting in line at like a water park. Oh, yeah. Alright, so I'm coal miner Nikki. I'll be your tour guide today down in our coal mine. If you guys would like to take photos, I do not mind. I'll ask if you could refrain from using the flash. I would greatly appreciate it. And we're going to get started. So if you want to load into our man cage and face these doors when you do. When I close these doors, you might want to say bye light. Bye, bye light. Look, I found Indiana Jones. Yep, just looking for them aliens with that crystal skull. Really? I'm proud of that joke, I don't care. Fun recording you doing this. <laughs> Have you ever seen a robot climb a ladder? Now you have.
actually seen this really neat. <laughs> For any kids watching this video, safety is cool. Always use handrails. Always. Always. Don't don't do drugs. Stay in school. Yada yada yada.